was a warm day in the middle of a cold winter. She was a good girl, gave her heart to a wandering sinner. I'm Ron Pope, and I'm at Ear Studios in Austin, Texas. I love Austin. Austin is a, Austin is an unbelievable place. First of all, my very favorite place to eat in the entire world is here. Barbecue is biblical. It's life altering. So I love Austin. Being at this festival is interesting. It's exciting. It's it's fun. It's it's one of those places where uh, you bump into friends that where you're always on tour and they're always on tour, and then you all happen to be here at the same time. So that's we're having a good time with that. Just getting to see people and check out the performances of people that we know. And so I'm I'm happy to be here. I couldn't say if I loved her Or if we were not there yet We were young and living on lies and cigarettes I did play baseball in college, that is true. I went to Rutgers uh, for a few years and I'm a big Mets fan. I went to the World Series last year. So for me, when I got to the end of playing baseball, it's it's a funny space that you have in your life. You know, the your time is structured very carefully when you're playing sports at a high level. You get up at this time, you go and you do this, and then you do this. And it's just all focus all the time and all hard work. And so for me, I think that one of the reasons that my music career has worked is that I kind of just took that and put it into my music. But if you're not... Like in this day and age, if you're not actively attempting to get people to hear your music, it's you're, you're fighting a losing battle. So I think uh, living at the intersection of art and commerce, like understanding that you have to do work in order to have people hear your music, um, that, that definitely, the drive to do that and the willingness to do it, I think came from sports, like growing up playing sports. But in the warm glow of a street lamp I was watching it I brought a bottle of champagne and she laid naked as the last time we met. And with her lips upon my fingers, and then my hands dug in. I, I think sometimes I get held up as this like poster child for independent artistry and, and you know independent musicians and honestly I would be happy to partner with somebody if I found partners that make sense but I, I kind of equate it to this it's like if I wanted to open a pizzeria and you wanted to open a tire store we couldn't be business partners you have to find business partners where, where their, their vision aligns with yours and so like when I was signed to a major label I didn't have that I didn't have a partnership I didn't have people that understood what I was doing and understood my fan base and understood the, you know the business that I was running it's it's one of those things where if you find the right partner it makes sense to work with people that can help you like nobody's made themselves into a household name on their own there's no icons in music that are a hundred percent self-made but if you can't find the right partners, it's an incredible time to be an artist because you can, you know, I built a global fan base through word of mouth, through an honest to goodness grassroots movement like brought me from playing music in the subway to doing world tours and selling out shows all over the, the world. Brought a bottle of champagne She laid naked as the last time When I'm gone, I'd like for people to think that the songs meant something, that they were a part of people's lives in a, a real way. And whether it's, you know, my happy songs for when people are happy or my sad songs for when they're sad or the big arrangements or the sparse stuff, the electronic stuff or the rootsy stuff, like whatever it is, I just want people to feel like the songs mattered and the songs were powerful. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm working on every day. Beautiful hotel, cold part of the 